Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another GTA 6 video. My name is Saints Fan, and we have a bunch of new GTA 6 information. Look, we've been talking about delays or, or not delays over the last couple of weeks. Well, Jason Schreer, the probably the biggest gaming journalist in the scene, posted a new article, and that's what we're going to be looking at in today's video. We have a bunch of new information, so without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in. I will leave a link to this article in the description below, but the title, look, Grand Theft Auto Delay Report Spurs Overblown Concern. And the head little note, in reality, video games are always behind schedule and risk getting delayed at any time. Sort of just setting the stage for what we're gonna read. So he starts off the article by actually talking about how the shares plummeted 5%. And I did show you guys that ever since that Kotaku delay to 2026 rumor came out and he basically is just saying it it makes no sense when it comes to the stock market and video game stuff he continues video games are always behind schedule and risk getting delayed at any time especially when they're as ambitious and under as much pressure as the next grand theft auto game and then also more common sense stuff there is so much time between now and the end of 2025 that even if production was going perfectly he says it would be impossible for anyone to state uh, definitively that the game will be ready in 21 months. Basically, even if people are saying the game's gonna get delayed, no one can predict it because the game is just too big. There's too many people working on it. I don't think Rockstar will even know if the game needs a delay until the last minute. And even then, who knows what'll happen. Let's start from the beginning. He says, Grand Theft Auto is an open world, or Grand Theft Auto 6 is an open world game in, of course, Miami, Vice City, and it is the most anticipated game on the planet. Yes, that is correct. There, of course, is the big thing that's happening in April where the employees will be required to actually go back into the office, and it started on April 15th. It says previously they had sort of a hybrid schedule that they could either go into the office, work at home. A lot of the developers, a lot of the employees liked that original schedule and don't like the whole being forced to go back to the office thing. And one of the biggest reasons they're doing this is because the work from home, the remote work, they say, is the single largest data security exposure we have. They don't want more leaks to happen from the remote work. I'm sure there's other stuff, but this is one of the bigger reasons they are doing the return to the office thing. Then, of course, a week ago, we had the whole Kotaku falling behind rumor and that it might end up slipping into 2026. There was an actual update to the Kotaku article. It was a little minor thing, but a couple of days later, uh, on Tuesday of this week, they corrected their story, uh, supposedly. While 2025 early was at one point possible, it's no longer the target for GTA 5's launch. That's what their update, that's what Kotaku's update was. But again, with Kotaku, it seems like there's sort of a lack of credibility there. And Jason Schreer's thoughts here, of course there's a possibility Grand Theft Auto 6 will slip out of 2025. And he references RDR2. That game got announced for release in 2017. It was delayed twice actually before releasing in October of 2018. And apparently this new GTA 6 game is already arriving later than anyone could have anticipated when they first started making it. And here's an interesting little paragraph Game development is a messy, non-linear process, beset by the biggest challenges of both technology and art. He says thousands of people are working on this game, right? We knew that. Rockstar has like three or 4,000 people employed, many of which are in their own silos where they're writing code for weather physics or recording actor performances or hunting for bugs on the streets of the fake Miami. Their jobs are all intertwined and dependent on one another and a single bottleneck, such as a level layout taking longer than anticipated or script pages arriving late, can have cascading effects across everything. So basically, it's a lot more complicated than I think a lot of people realize. That's the gist of this little paragraph here. So many things are happening and it's actually kind of cool. He gives us some information on specifically some stuff like the whole weather physics that's obviously really cool to see really cool to hear from the trailer one we got the weather looked amazing so it seems like weather is going to be one of the big upgrades in this game even probably compared to rdr2 
they are still recording actor performances which is a little strange considering how late they seem to be in the development process like i'm sure this is probably just from some minor things nothing major like obviously they're not doing stuff for like jason and lucy the main characters i'm sure that's all done but maybe for some of the side characters smaller scenes that's what they're doing and they're also hunting for bugs i mean that's really good news because that means they probably are in some of the final stages of development usually you're not hunting for bugs until the end but like i've been saying in a game of this size this scale hunting for bugs that could take a very long time but let's continue with the article because there's some other interesting tidbits here and, and this paragraph here sort of shows a divide between the management and the actual developers obviously the management they hope this return to the office policy makes things get back to, to normal so to speak but there are rumblings he says across rockstar that the unpopular move may lead to attrition and complicated logistical hurdles as staff try to coordinate with colleagues in other time zones without the benefit of virtual access also key staff could leave to the because of this policy which could of course lead to delays but for now there is no indication that anything significant has changed and to end the article i think this is a very very interesting little paragraph last summer so a little bit a uh, ways back but he asked someone at rockstar how things were going and they responded with one word chaos this week i asked a few other people at the company what they made of the rumor mill and was mostly met with shrugs of course development on the next grand theft auto is falling behind it always is so maybe this is more of an opinion piece from jason but obviously he knows some people at rockstar he's he's conducted some maybe non-official interviews he's asked them a couple of questions he knows probably more than anyone what's going on behind the scenes apart from of course rockstar employees and i guess what you should be taking away from this article is just the fact that we're too far out really to to have any sort of concern over whether the game's coming out early 2025 or late 2025 i don't think it's ever going to be releasing in 2026 i just i don't see that happening mainly because of the take two investors and shareholders they don't want that to happen because i'm sure the stock will fall even further obviously the big thing we're all holding on hope to is take two's official earnings calls we have one coming up in may that's the next time we'll get an update on this but of course i've referred to this many a times they are projecting eight billion dollars in uh, revenue in fiscal 2025 which is from now until i believe april of next year and as always like i've said they're the only way they're hitting that is with gta 6 releasing or, or maybe pre-orders going out so take two is still on board with an early 2025 release while we have jason schreer here saying that it's it's maybe a possibility but look in reality like he says video games are always behind schedule and risk getting delayed at any time so things can always happen and with a game of this size it might get pushed back until late 2025 i actually have one more article this is coming from insider gaming this is tom henderson's uh blog or website and the article is just titled the gta 6 delay isn't what you think and this is another journalist in the the gaming community that has had some connections with some people at rockstar so it's pretty reputable probably not as reputable as jason Trier, but it's definitely he's definitely up there and I'll leave this article in the description as well if you want to read it. But the main point to this one is with the game's release being so far out, talk of delay made little to no sense to those who or to those asked at Rockstar. They're moving forward with the game, including the return to office mandate to get the game to hit its 2025 release date. In fact, there hasn't been anything to suggest that the game is falling behind in any way at this point. So this person asked some people at Rockstar and they're saying, the game is not falling behind it's on schedule but he does continue that as far as an early 2025 release date for gt6 it was never going to be within the first couple of months of the year so this is the big news from this particular article i think that makes sense though it was never coming out in january it's probably never coming out in february march was a, a question like maybe it comes out in march but if he's saying it's never really going to be releasing in march i think that still leaves 
maybe May as the likely month this game they're trying to hit. That doesn't exactly fall in the fiscal 2025 timeframe that's about a month out, but it's close enough. I think the, the shareholders and stuff will be fine. It's also not late 2025, so it means we don't have to wait as long. So I think May is sort of the month they're trying to hit. That's right before summer break. They've also released other games in that time frame, so it's not like it's something new for Rockstar. I believe RDR 1 came out in May. I also believe GTA 4 came out in like April or May. So yeah, just kind of an interesting couple of articles here. Jason obviously saying they're basically still in development. Things are still getting worked on. And then we have this one saying the first couple of months of the year, it was never coming out. So I think, yeah, middle of 2025, May-ish is the time frame we should be expecting at the moment. Things can always change, like we've said, but I think that's what Take-Two is trying to hit. And really, I don't think we're going to update until the May conference call, which should be middle of May sometime. But there you guys have it. That is the up-to-date information on this GTA 6 saga. It's never, never boring in this world. There's always something happening, always something getting talked about, which is cool, kind of, I guess, but that is the deal. What are your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below? After going through all of this GTA 6 talk over the last week or so, what are you on board with when it comes to the game releasing early or, or mid-2025 or late-2025? Do you have hope that they could hit their... I guess we can call it an early release date. Thank you guys for watching. Please drop the video like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA 6 content. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.